personal stories, images, and a replica of the ill-fated MV Christina form the core of a current exhibition mounted by the St. Christopher National Trust. According to Ms. Willis Percival, the Executive Director of the National Trust, the exhibition marking the 50th anniversary of the 1970 Christina disaster was a substantial challenge. The Executive Director said the exhibition is not about opening old wounds, but is about providing a source of education for persons who are not familiar with the national tragedy. Ms. Percival talks about the exhibition at its recent opening. And one of the things we try to do is give you a replica provide a replica of what the boat looked like. I hope that we, we um, achieve that very much. We will also, you will also be able to read the names of the 232 or 33 persons who perished on that day, this day, 50 years ago. I want to thank a lot of people because it wasn't possible without some people. And key is my researchers. Because if we don't do the research, if we don't present the accurate information, then you won't, we won't be telling the story correctly. And so my research team was led by Nykova. Um, she, she's done an excellent job, and she was assisted by Nede. And, and these young ladies, they're awesome. Any information you want to know about St. Kitts, you come, and it's like, <laughs> it's like you're sitting right there with them. They know the history. And they did a very fantastic job in doing the research. But it wasn't possible without the documentary information that we found in um, Dr. Whitman Brown's books. He has indicated to me that he's published a fourth book, and hopefully we can negotiate with him to have that book in our gift shop when it's available. But his, his three books that he published provided us with immense amount of information, and he generously allowed us to use the data to present as part of this exhibition. Percival said the exhibition cost the trust $22,000 to mount. Glenn Bart, SKN Newsline.